Shared mailboxes might be one of my favorite features of Office 365. I mean, what's not to like about 10 gigabytes of free space? Hey, it's Brian from Liftoff. In this video, I'm going to show you how to take advantage of this excellent free resource from Microsoft. If you don't already know, a shared mailbox in Office 365 provides a free inbox, calendar, and contact database, and you can have as many as you want. The trick is, they don't have a password. So permissions to access a shared mailbox are granted to licensed users only. Here's how to set one up. First, log into your Office 365 Administrator's account at login.microsoftonline.com. Put in your global administrator credentials here. Choose the admin selection in the upper right hand part of the screen and then exchange. Choose recipients on the left side and then shared at the top of the screen. Click the plus sign to create a new shared mailbox. Give your shared mailbox a name. I'll call mine human resources. And then an email address. I'll say HR. If you have multiple domains in the system, be sure you choose the correct domain for your shared mailbox. Under the Send As Permissions area, click the plus sign and assign people that need permissions to the shared mailbox here. You can control click to multi-select people. As an IT admin, a best practice is to grant yourself permission here to verify that the shared mailbox is working as expected. Click Save. Once the mailbox is created, click into it to continue the configuration. Click Mailbox Delegation. And then notice that we have another permission box here. This is full access permission. Go ahead and give full access permission to the same people that you gave send as permissions to earlier. And then click save. Now that the shared mailbox is created, there's one last administrative step to do. Click Outlook at the top of the screen to go into your OWA or webmail. Click the drop down on your name in the upper right hand part of the screen and choose open another mailbox. Type HR into the search box and click search contacts and directory. Click open. Set the time zone and click save. Voila, now the shared mailbox is ready to use. Notice you've got your inbox here, your calendar is here, and your contacts are here. There are three ways to access a shared mailbox in Office 365. Two are in webmail and one is in local Outlook. Here's how to do it in webmail. First, go to mail.office365.com and log into your webmail account. Click your name drop down in the upper right hand part of the screen and choose open another mailbox. Type in the name of your shared mailbox here and click open. That's method one. Here's the second way in webmail. First, I'm going to collapse the subfolders under my inbox in my regular version of webmail. I'm going to then right click my name and then add a shared folder. Again, enter the name of your shared mailbox and click open. Notice over here, I've got my human resources shared mailbox 
and if I click the arrow next to it, the inbox is exposed. The third way to view a shared mailbox in Office 365 is in your local version of Outlook. Simply right click your email address in the left hand nav of Outlook, choose Data File Properties, Advanced, the Advanced tab here, and then Add. Type in the name of your shared mailbox here and click OK. Click OK again. Notice now that we have a human resources inbox here, right on the, the left hand nav of Outlook. If you go to calendar, you'll see that your human resources calendar is here as well, right on the left nav.